In this illustration, we intend to calculate the strain energy of the truss using the abacus software and analytical solution and then compare the results obtained from both abacus software and analytical solution together. In this picture, you observe the truss having been simulated in the abacus software. Actually, this problem has been selected from Mechanics of Materials book. In this picture, you can observe this problem, and as previously mentioned, the purpose is to calculate the strain energy of the truss. I will enter the Abacus software for simulation. I will click on Create part. I intend to create geometric shape of the whole truss. I'll select the modeling space as 3D. From here, Deformable, then select Wire and Planner and continue. The size of member CD is equal to 7.5 feet. That is equal to 90 inches. The distance between point B and D is equal to 4 feet. That is equal to 48 inches. Done. In the next step, I will enter property module. Click on create material. The truss is made of steel. I'll click on mechanical menu, then on elasticity and elastic. The young modulus of the steel is equal to 29 multiplied by 10 to the power of 6 psi. The Poisson ratio is equal to 0 0.3 and OK. I will click on Create Section. First, we intend to define the section for member BC. Here, we select Beam and then Truss and continue. The cross section of member BC is equal to 3 square inches. I will click on Assign Section, select this line, Done, and OK. I will click on Create Section. I intend to define the section for member CD. Here, select Beam and then Truss. Continue. The cross section of member CD is equal to 4 square inches. I will click on Assign Section, select this line, Done, select Section CD, and OK. In the next step, I will enter Assembly Module, click on Create Instance, and OK. After that, I will enter Step Module, click on Create Step. Here, select Static General and continue. Since this problem is linear by nature, I will select Off option. Time period is equal to 1 second and OK. In the next step, I'll enter Load Module. Click on Create Boundary Condition. From here, select Initial Step. Then Displacement Rotation and continue. As you observe in this picture, a pin support has been used at B and D points. 
I will select these points, done, and close all boundary conditions of displacement except UR3. I will click on Create Load, select Step 1, then Concentrated Force, and continue. I will select this point, done. As you observe in the picture, a 20,000 pound force has been applied to point C, directed at X axis, and a 24,000 pound force has been applied to point C, directed at Y axis. In the next step, I will enter Mesh Module. Click on Seed Edge. Select the whole of the truss. Here I will put method on by number and enter the number of the elements equal to 1. So one element is considered for each member of the truss. Then I'll click on Mesh Part and Yes. After that, I'll click on Assign Element Type. Select the whole of the truss. Done. Here I will put the element family on truss and OK. Here I will save the model. I will enter job module then click on create job. Then click on submit. The analysis was done successfully, so I click on Result. Here, you observe the deformation of truss. The purpose of simulating this problem is to calculate the strain energy of the truss. Here, the problem has been solved using the analytical solution. To do so, first we should Calculate the forces applied to member BC and CD. First, we draw all forces applied to point C, so we can calculate the forces of FBC and FCD. Here, first, we will write the equilibrium of force directed at y-axis, and by doing so, we will be able to calculate FBC and that is equal to 51,000 pounds. In the next step, we will write the equilibrium of force directed at y at x-axis. And by doing so, we will be able to calculate the force of FCD. And that is equal to 25,000 pounds. In the next step, we will be able to calculate the strain energy of the whole of the truss using this formula. To do so, we first need to calculate the strain energy of each member of the truss and then add them all up together. This has already been done in this table. And the total strain energy of the whole of the truss is equal to 1767.17. Now, we intend to calculate the strain energy of the whole of the truss using the Abacus software. I will click on Create XY Data, select ODB, History Output, and Continue. Here, I'll select Strain Energy and click on Save As.
He had a strain energy having been obtained from the abacus software can be observed and that is equal to 1767.18. As you observe, the results obtained from the abacus software are precisely concordant with those of the analytical solution.